Okay, so dream dancing is uh, a really good one. And uh, there, this is a, yet another tune where there are different versions of the changes that people play. So I'm gonna do the changes that are in the A result, which are the changes that I like. But I'll talk a little bit about that in a while. But first, let's just play the tune. As always, I'm doing this uh, tune of the week with Cole Porter tunes, but every other week is only for patrons. So um, I'm aiming to do 50 Cole Porter tunes. We'll see. I don't promise anything, but I think I can make it to 50. Comment below if you think I can make it to 50 Cole Porter tunes. But again, if you want access to all of them, you need to join me on Patreon. So this is a way for me to give something back to my patrons. So we'll do uh, the drill. We'll, uh, I'll play the melody together. I'll take a solo, you take a solo. Then we'll play the melody again. And I think there's a little outro on this Abersault. So this is the Abersault with the piano removed. Two, one, two, three. <laughs>
So in the beginning there, the melody goes A minor to A major. So I see, the, sometimes you see these chords, E aug, so A major, especially I think if the tempo is faster. But I prefer this. So just uh, different variations, just to be aware of that. And this tune is kind of chordy. It's a lot of chords at the end there, so I'm not sure what the original uh, changes are. This one was not in that songbook I found with, uh, with Cole Porter tunes. But you'll see slight variations on these chords, especially at the end there. This tune is all about these chromatic two fives. So some people go E flat, A flat, D minor, G. F, B flat, what we did, we did, but sometimes instead of F, B flat, a lot of people play E flat, A flat again there, because that works, both of those changes work with the melody. So it would be I 
other than that, I don't have that much to say about this tune. They could also be like that. I actually think that sounds better, to be honest. So I'll play F, B flat, to E minor, A. I would probably do that if I arranged this for, for my band. But this is all about this chromatic half step, which we see a lot in Cole Porter tunes. This is one of the reasons why it's good to study the same composer, learning a lot of tunes from the same composer, because you see the techniques and this half step can be tricky. So it's a good idea to get used to that. As with a lot of other things, it's a lot about the ear's ability to hear it, in my opinion. Again, this is a point I make in a lot of my videos. If you can imagine what it sounds like when you're soloing, you can hear what's coming up. Your lines are going to go in that direction, but if you're struggling with that, hearing that, or you're just kind of putting your fingers, oh, here comes that chromatic 2-5, I need to play a lick there or something, and you kind of insert a lick, it's not going to sound uh, uh, authentic, it's not going to sound uh, good, basically. So what I want you to do is practice this melody, right? stop there and hear that B flat and the chord in your mind before you play it. So try also to sing cold crane patterns like one, two, uh, three five for major and one three four five for minor chords. I've talked about that in a lot of my videos. F B flat F sharp F E minor I wasn't really I wasn't nailing it there. A lot about, you might have seen my videos on, for example, Blues for Alice, where I do this. I can't remember which other videos I talked about that technique. But I think a lot of people misunderstand that exercise. They think it's like a technique exercise. It's primarily, in my mind, an ear training thing. You've, so you can hear these chord changes. So the point is not, you might say, well, his singing is terrible. The point is not to sing this with a good voice or anything. It's, it's uh, you know, because to be able to sing good, you need to practice your vocal cords and technique. But it's the inner voice I'm talking about, being able to hear things correctly in your head. And some of you might think, well, this is easy. I don't see what's the big deal. But good for you. Then that means that you have strong inner ear. Uh, you don't have to work on this. It, I'm talking to those of you who are thinking, well, I could never do that. I could definitely not sing that note or sing the, the chord tones like that. I think it's a good idea to uh, put other things aside for a couple of months and work on that. It's going to speed up the process of, you know, getting closer to, uh, I guess, the goal is to be able to play what you hear, you have been able to, in order to do that, you need to hear things, right? So this is a good tune, I think, for practicing ear training. All right, that was Dream Dancing from You'll Never Get Rich, kind of depressing title of a musical, I guess. 
and uh, I shall see you next time.